Okay, it is Advent of Code 2023, day one. Got 10 seconds left. I just have some basic scripting to download the text. And here we go. Rank 16. Oh, sh it was three digits? Wait, no. First real one. Wait, I think I still... Hmm. That's confusing. What did I get wrong? Do I have time to do the sample input? I don't even know. Okay. Um, what am I print? Oh, it didn't get eight. Eight. Why not? Should have gotten eight, two, three. Um, oh, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, it's a little annoying. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Um, uh, handle that later. And then if, then we process a digit. So or I guess what we want to do is for giving m, if s ends with k, then process as digit b. Um, m needs to be this map. Uh, hopefully that processes. Um, okay, m, and then if yeah, if we end with the this, then that means that this is a digit, and we should process as a digit. Um, okay, so. this, still need this, oh, I don't need that anymore, oh, I still need the, this line, uh, and the items, don't want the sample input anymore, last is y, uh, y is dig now, 
Okay, rank 23. Whew, 16 and 23. That's, that's pretty good for the first day. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh man. I was, uh, I was trying to get set up with, um, with some sort of like automated submission software uh, again, or submission library, but I uh, once again did not manage to get it set up in time. So I think I definitely lost like a second or something, I mean, maybe a few seconds, honestly. Um, let's take a look. 101, oh, Antonio. <laughs> I tied with Antonio, I could have beaten him if I had some faster submission there. Oh, and I tied with him again on part two, that's crazy. Oh man. Oh. oh, that was stressful. The second part, when I realized that bug, I was, I was, felt like I was going to lose as soon as I put in the sample input, because generally, if you take the time to put in the sample input, you are burning a lot of time. But, um, oh man. I kind of wonder, was this, if this was like right first pass, like if they had the correct approach. It feels tricky to like, I don't know. The first thing that came to my mind, and I wrote, was this, like, replace every every word with its with its digit, um, and that clearly fails here. I'm trying to think of this like an easier way to do it rather than what I did. Um, nothing's really coming to mind. Maybe if you got first and last in a different way, I'm, I'm not really sure. Oh, that was intense though. Whew. I wonder where I'll end up on global. Probably similar to like 16 and 23 because both parts are similar difficulties. Uh, oh no, I'm number seven right now. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Wow. <laughs> oh, I, maybe part two is significantly harder. And like a lot of people who got part one quickly are struggling to come up with like, not struggling, but it took longer to come up with an approach. Uh, is it, oh, it's not even capped yet, okay. Okay, so I, I might fall a little bit, but I'm, I'm pretty happy to be, to be in number seven. Wait, did Antonio do better than me? Because he's in five. Oh, oh, right. He so we um, we tied time wise, but he still finished a rank ahead of me on both. Oh, that, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, that was an exciting first day. Um, but yeah, I will call the video here. I, I don't think there's a whole lot to explain with this problem. Um, first part was pretty straightforward. Um, you just want like the first and last digit in each line. And this is just a matter of like going character by character, checking if it's a digit. If it is a digit, then you like track it in some way. The way I did this um, was, I don't know, I, I guess another way you could do it is like extract all the digits and then just do like, get the first with digit zero and last digits minus one or something. Um, instead I did this kind of hacky thing where I set these both to none and last gets updated every time, but first only gets updated if, uh, if it was still none. Um, but yeah, and then, then part two about this, um, I don't know, I, I, I think uh, at, at this point it's like clear what my mistake was, but um, oh, I wonder if 16, oh, I guess it doesn't count. Oh, they, they say here it counts as seven, okay. Um, but yeah, you, you, um, you can have like, letter words that overlap like this. Oh, I was wondering about this. I think one hacky thing you could do, hmm. One hacky thing I thought about was if you could just, instead of like matching on eight, like you only need to worry about things where uh, the last letter of one digit can be the first letter of another one. So I guess that you can like just look at these and like zero one is one of them. Uh, so like ends with an O is problematic. Nothing ends with a Z. Uh, ends with a T, that's problematic for eight. Uh, ends with an E for eight. So I, like, I'm wondering if the thing you could do is just like remove the last character of all of these. And like this is the very first thought that came to mind, but I was like, oh, this feels like a hack and there's no way it's going to work. Um, oh yeah, this definitely doesn't work because, or at least not without a modification. And the reason it doesn't work is that <laughs> knowing Eric, he definitely put in some adversarial cases where you see some like partial things appear. So you couldn't actually just do this. Uh, what you'd want to do is you'd want to like, if you find the text five, then replace the FIV or something. Uh, and that seems tricky to do. Like I don't think there's a built-in Python thing to do that. To like, 
Oh, yeah, I don't think there is. I guess you could write a reg X for it or something, but anyways, uh, I'm just speculating on like other approaches that could have been done here. Uh, I'll, I'll be curious to look at the thread and see what the other, uh, like if anyone had a faster way to write this. Uh, but yeah, that's it for day one. Um, see you guys tomorrow.